Hello and welcome to an episode of Tag Wars PGA Tour 2005, the PGA Tour season, once again, with post commentary, because, once again, I am an idiot. Uh, this time I realised I had the microphone plugged into the wrong machine, but I had the X-Story already open when I realised it, so when I plugged it into the correct machine, the X-Story hasn't recognised it. So, once again, no commentary. Welcome to South Africa. The Lynx at Fancourt have always provided a challenge to the best players in the world. I'm Gary McCord for EA Sports. My partner, David Faraday, is down on the first tee, ready to help call today's action. Normally, I wouldn't talk over the commentator when he, like, introduces the championship in the first hole, but it completely ruined it this time, the emulator. So, first hole, hopefully we can do better than what the, uh, commentator, the emulator did there with the commentary. So, naturally, first hole, I think I debate here, playing it short. Because the wind's significant enough that it is a cause for concern. But the end result here is I do play it along. Spoiler all up. And I think I play it along the right edge. Expecting the wind uh, to blow it a bit left. I go hard on the power boost though because the wind's also backwards. Mistaken, but this appears to be going towards the and I do basically overhit this but the spin on the uphill slope there the uh, does actually save it. So we keep it in the fairway. We're in 37 yards but this time we get caught between two clubs. Can't pitch it or play short on likely bats in the rough. That hill, that rough, you know, that, that hill. And with the wind as it is, it's probably safer to play a lower power L wedge shot. And the end result is it bounces off the flag on the onto the edge of the hole and not in. Normally when you do that, it'll bounce off the flag straight into the hole, but this time it wasn't to be. So yeah, what I've done is I've basically I, I realised just before I was about to record the microphone was in the wrong machine. But because the X-Story was open, it doesn't recognise that I'd put the microphone back in so for it to for it to work. I, I had to restart the X-Story and I didn't do it. So this will probably be the last video I record on the old machine now because it's happened twice. It's, it's, it's not good enough to be honest. Um, we've got to fix that. The new machine can record. I've just been uh, kind of letting old series finish. And then just move the new ones to the new machine. It's looking really good. Because I know that Madden might have issues on, on Windows 10, but I was really hoping that I could get 07 working on the emulator and record a series on that, like a, uh, a nice warm-up series. Get a bird here. Needs a bird. Nearly the hole in one, unfortunately, but it wasn't to be. And then I could use that series to a learn Tag Woods 07 and b check out how we're coding on this new machine is, but. I'm going to have to just bat the bullet and go with 05, I think. We'll run my PS2 stuff over to the uh, new machine and go from there. So there might be a slowdown in The Sims 3 and Madden while well, I do that. Hole number 3, 472 yards. It's uphill, so you have to take that into consideration, but we do just blast it. Although I mess up the power boost there. And it ends up being a good job because if that was max power boost, that's going into the rough. 35 yards. Should be a simple David, approach shot. Here? I want to say it's about 120 yards. 120 yards. It's kind of a high pitch wedge, pitching wedge. Yeah, 100. pitching wedge. The uh, higher, higher arc is 121 yards. I've hit that a little bit. Then backspin. It was the plan. It has bounced to the left. This one hits the flag stick. A bit further. That could have got in. To be fair, because then the uh, be able to make kind here. of the uh, the bat right spin would have would have got it into the hole, but. Kind of just went by the hole, nice four feet away. But it's a pretty simple birdie. So once again, uh, job done. Obviously, the scorecard is showing that we're absolutely smashing it. So this was just about getting some good shots in, really, hoping to get like an eagle or a hole in one, a double eagle. Because my stats are also at a point where I'm quite far ahead, so like a dodgy shot isn't going to hurt me too much. So here, I don't know what I'm doing. Why am I waiting? Come on, hurry up, hurry up, me, hurry up, pass me. So win the six mile an hour forward, uphill though. Play a bit of power boost, but not too much. Nailed this Just gonna bounce off the rough, onto the top of the hill. Could have got that a bit further, but it's the end of the world. We're still, what, 140 or so yards away from the hole. The danger here is the wind's gonna carry this far too far. But it doesn't, it does bounce to the right though. Try and spin it towards the hole. Not enough spin to get it in, but we are a foot away. 
this for four straight birdies. The early game was actually quite uh, quite good for the approach play. Found the hole for a nice birdie there. Yeah, it does tear it off a little bit, but for now we're crushing it. Those are good approach shots. Making our putting pretty easy, and if you can make the putting easy, I'm going to do quite well because putting is probably my biggest weakness, to be honest. Especially once I miss one or two, it gets in my head, and then I just overcorrect it and then do the opposite. But once again, pretty long. This is, this is a par 5, isn't it? I think this is a par 5, but we've got enough fairway to work with that we can just blast this. That's a big league swing right there. Yeah, it's a par five over the hill here, over the hill, over the uh, over the river or lake, over the water, over over the lake. Okay. So here I go with a normal three iron shot. The, the, the idea here it's is good. if it went it's wrong, like kind of has here, it will be on the green. On the green in two. I don't want to be too aggressive, play it short, be in the water or the bunker, Looking being on the green, but a bit bit of a long putt is the best scenario. Because we do have four Tiger Visions, and we'll use the first one here. And it does go in for the Eagle. So, so far, so good. Tiger Vision used, but... It wasn't necessary, because if you just want the birdies, you can put that close. Try and get it in, but if you miss, you put it close. Tap it in. But we're six and nine under par now. Nice. Got to do the uh, traditional nice joke there when you see a 69. Through five. So far, so good. We've got basically the best we can do without chipping it in, so can't complain. Now, this 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 par 4 can be reached, but as you can see, the wind is against it. So here, I think I play a lower shot, so I hit it lower to the ground. Try and, neuter, well, try and uh, limit the wind's effects and try and roll it as much as I can. We can't get enough roll. Ever. It's a risky play, because... It's uphill, but I think if I played a normal shot, the wind would just tick it anyway. I think last time I played a chip in this position, but this time I play a pitch to try and tick the, the hill up the green out, out of play. So you play a chip, it's going to stop well short. It will kind of over overhit this a little bit. But, five feet away isn't too bad. Could have played that better, uh, but I think that's a better result than a chip. I think a chip's a very aggressive play and it could easily go wrong. And we just get it in, we just get it in. Nearly blow the put, blow up the putt. Nearly blow the putt there, but it's in, it's fine. Gravity decides to work for once. A black hole appeared in the hole. And we get the birdie and keep our good streak going here. The aim here, obviously, is to get a 52 or better to try and keep it consistent. You know, we get a 52 with a couple of mistakes, so we should at worst get a 52. Ideally, I want better here. Whether I get that or not, I know, but you don't. You have to watch to find out. So, medium length par 4. It is downhill. And I cut over the rough here. Get out the binoculars. This one's crushed. Onto the left side of the fairway. You can play it to the right, but this time I played it to the left. We did an to 7 yards. Absolutely bombed it. Still that 40 yards short of the, uh, of the current season record, but... I call I, I call hacks on that one. And I think this one overhits. Yeah, this one overhits quite a bit. Played a backspin down the hill though. We can't get much out of it, unfortunately. This would be so that one I wasn't expecting to hit that far. Ahead. That far uh, ahead of the hole. I think I contemplate the tiger vision here, but I do go for it myself. I took the risk, and it pays off. Bravo. I will stay on straight at that actually. It was a little to the left, but it's in the hole. 71 under par through 7. Or 20 shots through 7. So, birdie or better on every hole so far, which is always what I aim for. So, I'm doing alright here. Now, the par 3 is I, I do try and get a hole in ones here because I might as well, because I'm going to win anyway. Go for the hole in one. It's close. It's close. And it's right by the hole. Get the spin wrong there. That had a shot. That was close enough. The right spin gets it in, but I blow the spin. Nine under on today's round. Just to the right edge. It is a tap in there, so I won't punish for the, uh, the aggressive play. It, it results in an easy birdie. Because obviously sometimes, if you play it too fast towards the hole, you can just keep going and you end up miles away from the hole. 
Whereas if you try and stop it dead near the hole, you get an easy birdie. But I'm so far ahead, and my stats are just not that far ahead, I might as well go for it at this point. The odd part here and there on, on this tournament's not going to matter in the slightest. Why is that actually the 2-iron here? I don't know. You can easily drive at this. There's plenty of fairway ahead of it as well. It is downhill, so it will carry a bit more. So that bunker on the left, you'd have to watch out for to a, a little this bit. Ball has hit a ton. If you really smash it, but... See? Why would you hit a 2 iron? Driver, 362 yards, you won't hit it much further than that. Well, I'm not sure if you'd go with this one. And you have to do it to have a chance of getting here in two. So I think I'll play the lower shot with the aim to get the roll. Because I know, I think the longer shot here isn't going to work. And I'm kind of panicky, as you can tell by the spin. I'm like, oh no. This one should catch the left side of the green. Hit the right club. And get within eight feet, which isn't bad to say I panic there. I got a bit too far, so I couldn't get the forward roll that I wanted. The forward roll will take it off the green completely. But it does leave an easy putt, so we're not punished for that mistake. That's and so far, crushing it. I'm going to give myself a pat on the back for my performance so far. Through now, I'm absolutely crushing it, so I, I deserve that. I'm going to give myself a little bit of the pause as well. Got to feed my ego somehow. Hole number 10. Now, during this hole, I get a package, which takes me out of the game a bit. You'll see in a second. You'll see the uh, the transition, kind of. So here we're just going to smash it as always. It is uphill, so the second shot, we want to be close to it. Kind of goes right side, but we end up in an okay position. And there is the uh, the uh, the change there. That was, that's where the package came. And it does take me out of the game a bit. Here, I want to play a flop shot to try and mitigate the elevation. I'm hoping with a bit of power boost, it will get very close. But even with the power boost, it barely gets to that. Not shabby, not a great shot. So the worst approach of the day. Maybe apart from the par 5, but the par 5 this was a safe play anyway. For a tenth straight birdie. So the Tiger Vision once again is used. The problem with that is I think a pitch might play short anyway because it's so uphill. I knew the blow that put <laughs> as well, but it's in, it's in. Few close puts today, but so far they've all dropped. And if they're dropping, can't complain. So 13, 75 under pass, 28. We are we are up on our previous scores because we've got Eagles on the front nine, I think. Before we didn't. I'm pretty sure. To be fair, this course has some tough par fires. They are quite long. Especially the last hole where it's all uphill. It really cuts you. you your maximum distance from your drive, from your tee off quite a bit. Good. Really good. Go for the hole in one again, but just can't get that Great close shot. this time. Yeah, got, yeah, got the close approach, but needed, needed a lot yes, more spin than that. In a row. But once again, it's an easy birdie, so you can't really complain all that much. Under par on to Take the birdie. Round. Do a bit of a dance. And move on. Easy peasy. Howell and Perry here, fighting it out for the second place. Although Howell III has finished, it's all on Perry now. Price and Singh there uh, in the tie for fourth, but Price has holes to play, so he can also catch up on second place as well. Singh is done for the day, so he's getting like fourth or fifth, depending on what's below him. So similar to one of the previous holes, there's a patch of rough in the middle, but otherwise... You can just blast it down one of the sides. This time I played the right side, I think it's the previous one I played on the left. 150 yards. David, what do you see? 120 yards. 120 yards. So once again, a pitch and wedge high in the air is pretty much the perfect distance for it. But it does kind of go to the left a bit. We can spin it close to the hole. I'll tell you, there's no It'd be a little too much spin, but that was the, the spin is the difference between what if it, a little less spin with three feet instead of four feet, and it's straight in. So end of the day, it, it's job done. Well, ideally, maybe I had the spin, but it's the same result. And Perry it drops a hole from the looks of it. Come on, Perry, you're better than that. I don't know who Perry is, but I'll cheer him on because why not? Because really, Levinson's winning so much, it's all on them to keep it entertaining. Because then you can be like, okay, Levinson's won, we'll see some good shots out of him, but we can watch them to see the tension for second place. 
So this time, I think I played a shot. I don't play the hill. The last few times I tried to carry it over the hill and it hasn't gone well. And this is one where you have to play it into the fairway to get an eagle. So I play it a little shot just to make sure we get the fairway. David, what do you have? In 252 uh, yards, it's the worst distance. Position. It's like seven wood slash one iron. Go for this one or not? So I play another another shot here to try and roll it onto the green with a two iron. And once again, I've overhit this. But it does hold the green. No, it doesn't. It doesn't hold the green, but it's close enough I can still put it. So I'm not in the world. Could have played that better. I don't play that many shot, too many shots like that where I, I lower my stance to try and play a low, kind of low drive. So I'm not as good with it as I am sometimes with the, uh, you know, the higher arc and the backspin. But this time I don't actually use the Tiger Vision. I gamble that I'll hit the flag anyway, so a bit too much power is going to be fine. Looks like we have a winner here. And that was pretty much dead on. A little to the left, but it's an easy eagle in the end. And Levis continues his absolute rampage here at Fancourt. He wants that first major and he's going to get it. No one can stop him now. No one can stop him since probably round one. That's dope. some terrible performances from the AI here compared to what Levis can do. So the 14th hole, a bit of stretching here. Short par 3, you can drive this. If you're lucky, you can drive it. The wind is in favour as well, so we're going to blast this down the, the fairway. I'm going to try and get it onto the green. And we do. Only just, but we do. 251 yards. It's, it's going to be a 21 foot putt for Eagle. This for two Eagles in a row. Goes to the left, but then it breaks back to the right. We do take the Tiger Vision. That is doable without it, but I decided I want the Eagle. I'm going to take the easy approach. 18 under par I'm going to gamble my approach play. For the rest of the game here, it's going to mean I don't really need to use it again. There's only four holes left anyway. And I think there's three eagle opportunities pushing it here. This par four is hard to eagle, but it is doable because you can cut the dog leg entirely, so you can try and pitch it in over the right wind and get it onto the green in one, but you do need very good wind in your favour. And the last par five is a very hard one to eagle as well because it's, it's like significantly uphill, so it cuts your DT distance by a lot so here the wind is slightly against it so I just absolutely smashed a power boost does bounce into the rough so I couldn't really have done much more than that but we are within pitch distance again bit of power boost with the sand wedge play the aggressive shot hits the flag and nearly rolls oh, nearly bounces off the flag off the green entirely Lovex is not happy about that he thought that was in so did I there's too much power on the uh, on the pitch in the end. Too much roll. I avoid a tiger vision. I I I, uh, I back myself and it's dead on. I was right to do that. Dead centre. Power was about right. Obviously got the left to right completely correct as well. See, sometimes my putter can be really good. I mean, that's an easy put, but I've done it without without the the, you know, the, uh, the carry tip before. Just somehow got it in. Absolute miracle, but. Other times my putting is just terrible. <laughs> it's absolutely terrible. But it is what it is. It can lead to some funny moments at least. But today it's been very smooth sailing for Livingston. No real mistakes. Look far down the fairway. That's where this is heading. Any mistakes here have been minimal. It's, it's just a case of the eagles hard to get than I could have, and that's basically it really. So two iron. Once again, I'm going to try and roll it towards the hole. This time, I don't need the roll. A little roll here. I will get it, but we're on the green. Still a lot of work left to be done but it's a 42 foot putt over the fairway. Isn't going to be an easy and as you can see, not easy. I'm waiting for the carry tip. I was expecting the carry tip to say unavailable, but I do get one. And it's time for the last Tiger Vision. We're going to aim it at the rocks to try and get there. Is that the rocks or is that just like patchy rough? But you know what I mean. We have to absolutely blast this. I was actually expecting this to still miss despite the Tiger Vision. Very good. But it's in the hole. The Tiger Vision was basically spot on this time. Usually at that distance it's completely off, but it was in this time. So two holes to go with no Tiger Vision. So if we want the best score here, we have to play perfectly. 
We could get a 49 with a birdie and an eagle here. Or oh, a 50 with two birdies. So either way, at this point, I already know that I've beaten the 52. In debating between a 7 and 6. I play a 6, no power to all, hoping the wind will kind of do some other work for me. He's got this going right play a bit of backspin, but not enough. Hit a bit too far, but... Can you believe this would be you can't get the whole one out of that, but you can't get an easy birdie, so it's still a job done, really. 7 iron would have played short anyway. If a 6 iron plays there, 7 iron's playing short. But just kind of just stroke it into the hole. Get the birdie. It's all about hoping to get the eagle on the last hole here. Perry wins the battle for second place. Funk could get th uh, third or fourth. It was tied with two other people, but he had a hole to play. So here I can see it's so uphill. I I I uh, I didn't even see the win. I don't think. But I play a normal driver just to make sure it stays in the fairway because that's basically your only Very chance of getting there in two. Could have played a little bit of power boost, but you are risking the rough. And if you're in the rough, you're screwed. This is where like a 7 wood comes into play. I can see a 3 wood doesn't actually have a chance to get close if I play it right. So I, I hold the switch to try and take a bit of power out, but unfortunately I take too much power out. This ball to have a little kick so it's going to play short. The, be the best play there would have been just to go nearly full power, to be honest. Over the hole there this time with the pitch. I was expecting that. So if I play it long, it ends up on the back side of the green. I could chip it back onto the green anyway. But we have to set up for the birdie and the 50 rather than the 49. I was hoping for the 49, but when you play 18 holes and you only really make one mistake and it's the last hole, you can live with it, especially when you've won by like 40 shots anyway. And we do get the consecutive wins tracking Tiger, Tiger Trophy Bowl. So that's one more Trophy Bowl now. So our first major set a bunch of records. We're absolutely smashing it so far. And time to bask in our celebration video that the game gives you. This is John Daly with EA Sports. Congratulations on winning a major. You're one of the elite on the PGA Tour. Congratulations, you're PGA Tour Player of the Month. Right, there's some sponsorship money that we don't need. We've broken 60 million now. I do check my stats here. So next up is the Hidden Tre Treasure Invitational, which takes place at Paradise Cove. And I'm assuming they all do. Immediate back out of that one. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be a tougher tougher series here. The AI might actually do alright though. Because I know Paradise Cove, I'm not the best at. The, pa the fantasy, fantasy courses, I'm not great at. As well as my own Dream 18. But here's my stats. You can always pause the video if you want to see one you know, specifically. Smashing it with 200 eagles. Like, what, 150, almost 150 eagles ahead. So, yeah, some solid stats there, but one for basically everything apart from best drive, but. I, I, I call it AI out on that one, they cheated. Trying to get to Wood's overall career money at 44.5 million, we're at 8.5 million, so just what, 35 million or so to go? Something like that. Maybe what, 37 million? Yeah, th uh, th 37 million. There we go, my math ain't too bad. But now, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time for some more Let's Play Tag with PGA Tour 2005, PGA Tour season.